September 16, 2002, Charter School Academia Semillas del Pueblo opened their doors to 150 children from East Los Angeles, California. On May 31, 2006, after four years of peace and progress, Los Angeles KABC radio host Doug McIntyre initiated an on-air attack full of hate and lies against the school. On June 2, 2006, after three days of KABC's Doug McIntyre's vicious attacks, resulting in terrorist threats, the children were then forced to evacuate. Everybody is completely aware of what kind of diabolical shitbag you are. You're a racist, you're a scumbag, you're a Mexican, and it's always going to stay that way. You people are fucking doomed. It's over for you. Bye-bye. Hey, don't forget to... Uh, grabación amenazante contra una escuela hispana fue dada a conocer hoy por las autoridades. La policía está en alerta y lógicamente los padres de familia están muy preocupados. ¿Cómo inició este odio? Vino el reportero, él dice que hubo un incidente afuera de nuestra escuela. De allí empezamos a recibir llamadas uh, insultando a los niños, insultando a la escuela, porque el locutor de una estación empezó a decir cosas... Uh, falsas de nuestra escuela, que, so, que somos racistas, ni se podía contestar el teléfono de tantas llamadas que llegaban a la escuela a, contra nosotros. Estoy muy preocupada porque realmente uh, siento que por un comentario en la radio no debía de estar la escuela en la posición en que la pusieron. Esta es una oportunidad grandísima el que mis hijos estén en esta escuela. Es más que una oportunidad, creo que es una bendición y una oportunidad que cada niño en todos los Estados Unidos debía de tener. We have bomb threats here and we have other kinds of terrorist activity. One has to wonder what the relationship is, how much their hate radio is promoting this. Meetings with KABC have been futile. An FBI investigation into these terrorist threats have yielded no results. Hate speech on public airways remains unabated. McIntyre in the morning. 6.59 on a Wednesday morning, the 31st day of May. When we come back, the main event, our export on an L.A. charter school paid for by the taxpayers of the city of Los Angeles. Funded by La Raza and Mecha. Is this a Reconquista grade school? Now, the school, in addition to using all the language of communism, the collectivist learning experience. School that has zero whites, zero blacks, zero Asians, although they're teaching Tai Chi and Mandarin to raise kindergartners, first graders, second graders, speaking a Mandarin and Nahuatl, and then release them into the high schools of uh, Los Angeles is borderline child abuse. Michael, welcome to KBC. Thanks for your patience. Oh, man, I've been chomping up a bit on this one. Is there a human sacrifice at the graduation of the school? <laughs> Actually, uh, because the Aztec culture, of course, was a peaceful culture. You know, nobody got slaughtered there. Uh, yeah, I think you have to go to graduate school before you get to learn how to do human sacrifice. Uh, we've got a breaking news story for you. Marco Aguilar is a vicious, evil racist, just like the Ku Klux Klan and the Nazi Party. These people are racists, they're hate mongers, 
They're terrorists. Brian, welcome to KBC. How are you, sir? You know, this school is the California equivalent of a madrasa. It's just like the schools in the Middle East where they teach children from a very, very young age to be anti-Western, anti-American. And it's absolutely scary that, that this is being taught. That's exactly right. And this is a madrasa. That's exactly what it is. It's a radical concept, it's a racist concept, and it's reflected in the ethnic composition of the school. 0.00% whites, 0.00% blacks, 0.00% Asians. It's a separatist school. It's a school that rejects Martin Luther King's vision. It's a school that rejects the Brown versus Board of Education. This is very dangerous. His job is to keep his school, his uh, madrasa school, open uh, so they can train the next generation of uh, Aztec revolutionaries. And this is probably not your idea of an elementary school principal. We'll tell you about a school that says it's teaching ethnic pride. Others say it's teaching militant racism. Coming up. Now, a few weeks ago, we told you about Marcos Aguilar, the principal of a primarily Hispanic American high school in Los Angeles. Aguilar is a radical. Charges that a Los Angeles school principal is biased against whites. It's a separationist philosophy. It runs, it's the antithesis of everything that Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez himself advocated. Many are saying this is intentional since the school is also funded by the radical groups Mecha and the National Council of La Raza organizations that, by the way, believe the southwestern United States should be returned to Mexico. Critics say a controversial charter school in El Sereno is un-American. The school caters to children from immigrant families. It has recently come under fire from the radio station KABC which has reported that the school teaches a separatist agenda. Some of the things that KBC Radio has been saying apparently is that the, the school is racist, or at least the principal is racist, that it has an anti-integration agenda. And what kind of message is it sending the kids besides a tax dollar issue? I mean, these are children, these are impressionable minds, and they grow up, they go to high school, they've got this guy's thinking into, you know, white is wrong, black is wrong, Hispanic, or, you know, uh, Chinese is wrong. They're thinking, oh, they're the supreme beings, and or they're going to have a hard time adjusting the what the world is really like. And America is wrong because they believe they want to take back part of the lower part of the country. So why are they here yes, then? This is becoming a big if issue. If for no other reason, the Doug McIntyre at KABC is pounding this one, and you're going to be hearing more about it. The public airwaves are being used as a weapon of hate and allowing those with extremist views to validate their racist, un-American beliefs. Our children have been victims of hate crimes. Lisa, have a good day. What's your name, son? All of America's children deserve the right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and an education. Recently, radio host Don Imus was fired for racist talk. However, Doug McIntyre, a protege of Don Imus, remains on the air at KABC for terrorizing children, spewing racial slurs, and inciting hate. Now, you have to ask yourself, why?